Castleton police say the investigation into a deadly shooting over the weekend is moving forward. One juvenile male was killed, four others were hurt. 2822 Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik working this story today joins us live from Hazleton Police Headquarters. Andy. Well, good evening, Nick and Candace. Investigators tell me this is an active investigation, one they describe as intensifying even as we speak. But they say they're not releasing too much information so as not to jeopardize this ongoing investigation. I can tell you, people in this community want answers. Horrible. You know, it's just bad for us, too. Really. I just, you know, this was a beautiful town, it was. Bill Weber owns Joyce and Bill's Tavern on South Wyoming Street. The deadly shooting took place right outside his front door early Sunday. My friend, she calls me up and uh, told me that uh, what happened. I said, you're kidding me. I just couldn't believe it. We never had no problems here like that in 35 years. Investigators say just before 1 a.m. Sunday, they responded to a call about shots fired and a fight at South Wyoming and Beach Streets. When they arrived on scene, they say they found two male juveniles with gunshot wounds. They were taken to the hospital. Detectives then say they were made aware that three other male juveniles were taken to the hospital in private vehicles. They too had gunshot wounds. One of the boys died. The other four were transferred to regional trauma centers. Community groups like the Dominican House say the community cannot tolerate gun violence, especially when it involves juveniles. So I think if we have to investigate, where's that gun coming from? And at this point in time, investigators have not released the names or conditions of the victims, especially in, namely the deceased victim, only to say the investigation is ongoing. Nick and Candace. Andy, do we have any information about what may have led to the shooting? Well, sources close to the investigation, including folks who are in that neighborhood, say that they had they were told that there was some kind of a, a party going on, a confrontation took place, and gunfire erupted. But again, that is not official at this point. Okay. Andy Mahalshik reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.